Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this cutie from, it's your baby girl Sarah in the building. Yeah guys, we'll be talking about lasting impression you can leave on a guy. Mm? Those things that you can do outside, you can do somewhere that can leave a lasting impression on a guy about you yeah guys and for those who are thinking like oh i'm already married i don't need a guy okay i got you yeah i got you this can be applicable on a daily um your daily life this can be applicable if you want to look for a job if you want to seek favor somewhere you're looking for something this can open doors for you these are tips that can open doors for you trust me guys it's not only for those who are unmarried that are wanting to get married or they are wanting to impress a guy and i'm not trying to say impressing a guy in a negative way you shouldn't force your way into a guy's life no but these are just things that you can do to be able to impress someone that you are eyeing mm -hmm. or impress someone that that you know this guy wants you but you don't your, your character might be stopping that or the opposite of what i'm about to say might be stopping that so guys just listen as i give you these little tips okay guys yeah <music> The first one will always be your character and your tone in public. It is very important as a lady mm, to carry yourself in a certain way. You understand? This is not something that you're trying to impress or you're trying to, to, to have your way so that when you get there, you show your real color. That's not what we are talking about. We are trying to say something that can make the world to be a better place. Instead of you having a bad attitude and getting into somebody's life and become a thorn to that person's flesh, it is very important for you to adopt a positive attitude that can lead you to, to a positive ending or a positive outcome it is very important to adapt a positive attitude to adapt a good character that can be able to make you a better person in the heart of so many people in the heart of a guy this can lead to a very lasting impression about you on a guy this thing about character is something that is holding so many women um bound like not wanting to to liberate them for them to be able to get their to get their way into marriage there are many people that because of character is holding them backward they cannot find the right person they find just the people that are rude as them they find just the people that are there to use them please to have a good character is it should be the first step of you um, getting into a man's heart I'll tell you the truth I know there are people with fantastic character but they don't know how to do other things and that is stopping them as well we are going to be listing some things that you're going to see that if you follow these things I think that you can't miss a guy you can't miss a guy before this year end I'm telling you the truth you can't miss a guy and if you follow them even in your place of work you discover that you have so many favors yes you have favor when you do these things that i'm about to say so character is the first thing to open your way for life they used to say that your gifts can take you somewhere but your character is going to cause you to stay it's going to cause you to maintain that job your character is going to cause you to maintain that man your character is going to cause you to to get a guy trust me no matter how you are your character Will cause you to have somebody no matter what no matter how you look it's not the physical that matters trust me it is not even though it can play a role but it is not the thing that they see first men know what they want 
guys know what they want trust me it is not the physical if it is only the physical they'll get anybody out there but they know what they want they want to keep you so they need that character so it is very important not to be loud in public there are people who speak in public and even you can get saliva splashing everywhere and they don't care you can get saliva even at the corners of their mouth but they don't care they don't care. It is possible for you to, after talking for some time, you can have saliva. Maybe it is possible uh, for those who are using wet lips like us, using gloss, it is very possible after some time, maybe you have drank water or you've talked for some time and little saliva has gone on that spot. You can find it getting white, all those kind of things. That's why it's very possible. It's very important as a lady to always move with your small mirror because those things can set a guy off. I'm telling you the truth. It can set people off from your, from your, your space. Like instead of them feeling beautiful and comfortable in your space, this can set them running, picking on the toes, like going. <laughs> Yeah, guys, it's very important that you don't talk carelessly in public and you, when you want to talk, you carry yourself in a certain way is very important. It is very important to be happy and find yourself. It is very important. Be happy and find yourself. It is important before you meet a guy. It is very important to find yourself. It is very important to be happy. And I think those, the two go together because if you find yourself, there's no way that you, can, you can't be happy. It's impossible for you not to be happy. When you've already found yourself, it is very important to be happy because happiness comes from a place of of like settlement happiness comes from happenings happiness hap happiness comes from when you know you have achieved something you understand but if you're someone that you are you haven't found yourself because when you start jealousy someone is because you haven't found yourself you don't know who you are if you start uh, doing things that you're not supposed to do like learning chemistry instead of learning history you haven't discovered who you are you haven't discovered what you really you can do you haven't found yourself that will cause you not to be happy because the chemistry you're doing instead of history you will not be happy because you will not be doing well you will not be doing well if you're supposed to be in this space and you are in the other space you won't be happy because you haven't found yourself finding yourself is knowing what you want in life finding yourself is building yourself also Finding yourself is being able to, to read books and know how your body works, how your brain works, what is required of you at this age, what is needed of you in life. Those things, it's not like it is so, it's so easy to understand everything about yourself. We are still learning, but it is very important to understand the basics about yourself. It is very important. What is that thing that you cannot take for a guy? All those kind of things. How much do I want to make? How much can I save? I read books about saving, read books about how to make money, read books about how to, to bring up a child. Nothing is a waste. Knowledge can never be a waste. Trust me, even when you have not arrived at a certain stage, it's very important for you to build your, your, yourself mentally, financially, morally, spiritually, every uh, domain in life is very important. If you are, if you are built uh, spiritually without mentally or without financially, those things you will still be handicapped in some ways. It's very important to be yourself in all those domains. Even it means not a hundred percent, but just a little percent, it is still good. If you get any sound, you know, my daughters and my husband they are at home of course that's why you can get noise okay so it's very important to be yourself and be happy find yourself these are things that gives a lot of confidence it gives a lot of confidence it gives a lot of settlement it doesn't make you to sound or to come up like like desperate it doesn't make you to come up like somebody that is still searching for something that is not yet settled have you ever met such a person? That is, if you see the person, you know that the person is not in the present. The person is somewhere else. 
yeah yeah those kind of things but when you find yourself it's very important for you to look settled for you to look like you are present you are not all over the place in your brain yeah and that causes happiness that causes confidence and that is what gives a lasting impression on a guy it gives a very good impression on the guy about you yeah guys the third one says put on a smile when you're outside that gives a powerful impression about you yeah even when things are bad things are rough try to always Tell yourself, tell yourself that I have to smile. Devil, you're a liar. I have to put on this smile. Remember always the scripture that says, in everything we should give thanks. Always remember that scripture that says, in everything we should give thanks. It is very important for us to build ourselves in a way that will cause us to always smile that things will be better tomorrow have that mindset that things will be better tomorrow and that will give a lasting impression on a guy about you when you're always smiling very important for you to have a good posture when you're sitting in public you can slide your two your both legs on the side on the right side on the left side depending on where you feel comfortable it's very important to slide your, your, your both legs on the side, maybe on the left side, yeah. Then also, you can also cross your legs. Even though some people always kick against the, the thing of crossing your leg. Like in African culture, I feel like crossing of leg is like against our culture. Like when you're sitting with elderly people, like they, they always feel like that is disrespectful. I don't know why. But I feel like some people have confidence when they cross their leg. Crossing your leg and gives you that good posture. It gives you confidence. Or sliding the both legs on the same side by taking the, 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 the one leg behind the other one. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is also a very good posture. The whole of your body needs to fall in the right positions for it to give you the the the, the confidence and the the good posture we are talking about and one thing you have to do also is to lean your shoulders backward and downward it shouldn't be upward and backward no it should be downward then backward it should slightly lean behind and your shoulders should be relaxed and your shoulders cannot be relaxed if they are still standing up they should be downward and slightly behind. That will make your chest position to be upward, okay? Because your chest position cannot be upward and your shoulder is still, you understand what I mean? Like once your, your chest position is upward or your back is down and your, sh your shoulders are down and your back is leaning a little bit backward, that will automatically make your chest position to come a little bit up and that is going to make your neck position to be long. And that gives you a very, very beautiful uh, posture and a confident posture. That is how confident people sit. And when you talk, you discover that you talk with class. Not talking like, you know, when you sit like this, already you've lost confidence by sitting like that. You understand? So that gives you, when you sit the right way, it gives you a very good posture. And that comes with confidence. It gives you so much confidence. You know, there's no guy that wants a woman that is insecure, a woman that is not having any confidence why he or she, why she is sitting or is not having any good posture. You understand? That gives a very lasting impression on a guy when a guy sees you like that the last but not the least it says smell good it's very important to have a beautiful um deodorant or perfume or body spray on when you are in public and also even when you're at home for me i do it even when i'm home i'm not going anywhere i just like to smell good it's not like i'm insecure with my own body smell no i am not one bit i am not and i think most people who have seen me they, they don't even see me with body spray they don't even get the body spray around me but this is something i say i like yes i like you must be able to know yourself know yourself because one thing that people always say is that oh those who use 
spray or perfumes they have body odor they are, no my dear if you know yourself you should know whether you have body odor or not okay you should know yourself whether you have body odor or not there should be a problem if you have body odor there should be a problem there is something about you that about that place the place producing the odor that bacteria is growing there's something there so you need to treat it that's why it's good to 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 be clean under your armpit it's very good to be clean downward there are people who use tight for a very long time and that tight that you wore yesterday you are still wearing it the next day no anything that is so attached to your under is very important to change it not to wear it twice like the colang that people wears, I wear the tight wears. Yeah, you understand what I mean, tight wears, because I'm using, I don't know the language right now, colang. I don't know. The tight wears that people use, like the, the, the sport wears and the underwears that are tight for people. Some people use it like body shape, uh, um, um, something, yeah, to give them shape. Yeah, those things, it's not important. It's not good for you to use it twice, except you're using it with your pants on and again when you come back you have to sun it you have to sun it is very very important anything that is tied to tight areas can breed bacteria like that so those are the things that can always produce um can always produce you a lot of um smell and a lot of uncomfortable uh, uh um um uh, feeling around you that can make people to be like oh there's something i'm perceiving but i can't lay my fingers on yeah it might not be smell but you understand what i mean somebody can be perceiving something that is not fresh so what we need is a fresh smell that will come with perfume or if you, you still if you're not a perfume person i'm not putting you on the line of perfume no not at all you can still use deodorant is very important or if you're not someone you like to use deodorant with smell you can still use the natural deodorant without any smell without any perfume it's still good because that will still block the 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 your pores from producing sweat yeah don't say i'm not sweating no please do use deodorant it's very important it's very important so this is something that we want we we men they enjoy like they will never tell you but those are things that they enjoy when you smell good you put on a beautiful smile you have a good posture when you're sitting you can speak so well in public you have a good character and the other one is what yeah all the tips i've said those things they leave a powerful impression about you on a guy it leaves a powerful impression even when you smile remember your teeth are your are your first entrance to that heart that they see when they see that smile the first area that they see is your mouth when they see your smile they look at it and they look at your teeth your teeth are having problems or the you have eaten and vegetables everywhere remember those areas have to be fixed as well it's not just the smile you understand when they talk of smile remember those areas as well to keep your teeth clean if possible you have the money you can go for whitening of teeth those those things they give you fantastic one of the things that gives you fantastic smile also is the 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 the, the whitening of the teeth your white teeth it gives you a fantastic smile so take care of all those areas not just what i have said but try to look those things that are related to the things i've said and you fix them the same way i'm talking about smile the same way i'm talking about your body posture the same way i'm talking about uh, your body type i did not talk about body type you need to talk Think about your body type and dress accordingly, according to your body type. It's very important that you dress according to the type of body you have. Though, if I want to put on a tight dress because I really like it tight and short or small, I don't know. Yeah, if I want to do that, then I'm going to put a overall jacket on top that I'm not going to remove yeah and that is a waste so why did you do it so it's very important to know your body try to understand your body try to understand the type of things you have to do and this is going to help you to be able to find that mr right or to be able to open doors for you in different ways that you don't believe it thank you so much for watching this video i am so grateful with all those that have subscribed my dears we are about to hit 200 i can't even believe i can't even believe and i thank you guys so much if you are also be and if you are a new person and you haven't subscribed 
please do well we are about to hit 200 support your girl by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that each time we upload something you'll be there to watch with others thank you so much for watching and bye bye